face and welcome back to another episode of the 68 Charlie series. This is actually the second episode of the 68 Charlie series. I decided to turn my experience as a 68 Charlie AIT student into a series for those of you looking into this MOS because there's not much out there that's recent and I actually see why now this course is really brutal and you don't really have the time to sit, plan, film, and edit a video. But I've been trying my best. So the first thing I wanted to mention is very important, especially for those of you who are reclassing and you're coming in as dual military, single parents, or if you have a spouse that has to work early in the morning around those PT hours, and you are used to your kids going to daycare on post. It's worth noting that childcare on post doesn't open until 0600, but PT is at 0500. And PT formation is even earlier than that at 0445. So needless to say, you're not gonna have childcare during PT hours. And I mentioned this first because in the beginning, this was a really big stressor for me. And I think it's worth knowing ahead of time that way you're able to make arrangements and plan accordingly beforehand. The 68 Charlie course is a fast paced course. You are getting a ton of information shot at you through a fire hose. You will be stressed without a doubt. You will be stressed, especially now with the COVID learning environment. Just to give you an idea, we are in second phase and in second phase, you are getting even more information. You're getting even more labs. The tests get longer and I'm talking about the time to take the test that you have to sit there taking these tests and the amount of questions that are on the test. And you also have clinicals. Usually from my understanding in second phase, you are to have a test every two weeks. But of course, again, because of COVID, we are now taking these tests every week. Again, kind of like first phase. So yeah there's that <laughs> so what you do is you study and you focus throughout the week you take the test and after you pass because you will pass you breathe in deep you exhale and then you re-engage because the day you take that test you're going to be jumping right back into it you're going to be jumping right back into the next block of instructions for the next test so this is a very very fast paced and demanding course the third thing I think you should know is whether or not you want to do this course. Is this something you actually want to do? Think about all of your options. Was this your first one? Why did you choose this MOS? Do you want to be a nurse? Are you a people's person? Do you have good bedside manner? Are you compassionate and empathetic? These are questions you need to be asking yourself beforehand. You have people that come into this course knowing from the jump that they didn't want to be a nurse. They either got a bonus for the MOS or they wanted to do something medical because they heard that the medical field is the better field only to end up failing out on purpose because they just don't want to deal with the stuff that comes with being a nurse when that's something that you kind of knew ahead of time. It's really inconsiderate because there's so many slots in an MOS and you're taking a space from someone who was more deserving because they actually want it to be here when you do stuff like that. So really think about it on whether or not this is actually something that you wanna do, or if you're just doing it for some purse or because somebody else told you to. Remember, in my earlier videos, I've said, make sure the decisions that you're making when you come in are solely your decisions and you're making them for the right reasons, okay? Keep that in mind. Your social life will go on the back burner. I've said it before, this course is very demanding and you're gonna feel like you're studying always, all the time, because in all honesty, you are. My advice for that would be to put yourself on a schedule. That way you are still able to give your family quality time or you're still able to take a few moments with your friends decompress, get a break from all the studying, so you're not burning yourself out. This is a very long course, and the people you are in class with, they're going to be your outlet, and I recommend it because being cooped up all the time, always just studying isn't good for anyone's mental health. So get yourself on a schedule, you know, get some good work-life balance. The last thing I wanted to mention is Try to eliminate as many stressors as you possibly can before you come to the course. So if you have debt issues, if you have family issues, your living situation, all of those little things that you're stressing over, try to find a way to defer them 
I guess, until you're done with the course or getting rid of them. Because having all those little things stressing you out on top of the stress that you're going to get from this course is just not a good mix. And if I had to add on to that, I guess I would say use your chain of command. If you do have things that are stressing you out and distracting you, if there's something that's bothering you, if there's something that's hurting you or your family or something just comes up, let your chain of command know because those are the type of things that you don't have to deal with by yourself. Don't try to keep it a secret. Don't try to tough it out. You can handle it yourself. Your chain of command is there to help you. And honestly, nine times out of 10, they probably have a solution to the issue that you're having. And if they don't they're pretty good at figuring it out so don't be battling stuff like that alone okay just utilize your chain of command let somebody know because uh, like I said all those stressors just let some just let somebody know if you found value in this video can you please give it a thumbs up that lets YouTube know that it's a good video and it's helping people and that helps out my channel I'm trying to be blessed by these algorithm gods and I just haven't quite figured out how to do that just yet but from what I hear is when you get engagement like likes and stuff like that that helps so yeah also if you are interested in this kind of content you're interested in the army the military 68 charlie i would recommend you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell that way you don't miss another upload leave any comments and questions you have down below and i will see you in my next video bye